Fox Business host Neil Cavuto, perhaps surprisingly, went after Republicans on his show. He was angry because they're whining over Obama's new Ebola czar. Let's listen. Finally, I have a message for Republicans who continue to attack Ron Klain. Shut up and save it for issues that matter, not this one that frankly does not. Okay, so the president's Ebola coordinator doesn't have any medical experience. Neither do a lot of you guys, but that hasn't stopped you from pontificating as if you were Marcus Welby, just the same. Thing is, I don't recall you making this kind of a big fuss over Stuart Simonson. Remember him? Back in 2004, he was President Bush's bird flu czar, and he didn't have any medical background either. What he did have as an assistant secretary of health and human services was a very thorough working knowledge of the government agencies and how they might work together in the event of an emergency. Yet Simonson was just as much the Republican political insider as claimed today is deemed a Democratic political insider. Now, that didn't make Simonson any less effective in dealing with the bird flu as it potentially doesn't make Mr. Klain any less effective in dealing with Ebola. Look, I'm not saying that Mr. Klain's a hero, but now's not the time to be calling him or anyone a hack. Remember, just because this virus is mutating doesn't mean simple civility and decency should be mutating with it. Because that would be sick. Not just because Mr. Klain, and yes, the president deserved better, but because the American people do. Turn it around. How would you like to be pre-labeled, just coming out the shoot, pre-judged, just coming out the shoot? You wouldn't like it. Right or left, it is wrong. Stop it. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. Now, here's the sad reality that we always need to look out for when you hear stuff like this on Fox. Bill O'Reilly, Shep Smith, Chris Wallace, and now apparently sometimes Neil Cavuto because he did it here and he also did it one time in an interview with Michelle Bachman. They will say something reasonable and go after Republicans seldom, rarely, but it happens, because this then gives Fox ammunition to turn around and say, we don't have a conservative bias. Chris Wallace questioned Republicans very harshly on Sunday. Bill O'Reilly did that one Talking Points memo where he said the Republicans need to stop doing X, Y, or Z. Uh, Shep Smith has multiple times defended the gay community. I mean, we're not biased in a conservative direction. Look at all these examples of uh, when people went after the right wing. Now, of course, that's totally disingenuous because if you do a statistical analysis and a breakdown, it's clear that well over 90% of the time, it's right-wing talking point, right-wing talking point, right-wing talking point on Fox News. Honestly, to the point where they're basically talk radio with a picture. That's it. So, uh, while we give credit here for, to Neil Cavuto for being somewhat reasonable, overall, we know what's going on here. It's more of this facade that, well, you should take us seriously now because at that one time we went after Republicans. But also, the real issue, which he never mentioned here, and it's convenient because I'm sure he knows this, is that the Republicans are currently blocking the appointment for Surgeon General! That would be the person who is the top doctor in the country who's responsible for uh, fighting Ebola and dealing with the CDC and it, being involved in an outbreak like we're dealing with now, which isn't even really an outbreak. But they would be the one in charge of doing that. The Republicans are blocking them. So the real issue here, again, unsurprisingly, is Republican obstruction. And then when they scream at Obama to appoint a, an Ebola czar, and he appoints an Ebola czar, uh, they say, well, you didn't pick the right one. And he has no medical experience. Well, maybe uh, somebody with medical experience in a top position that could help in this circumstance is the Surgeon General, who is exactly the right person who's supposed to help in this circumstance. But you guys are blocking them, so it's a totally disingenuous, disingenuous argument from the right. And Neil Cavuto is correct for pointing this out, but always keep in mind exactly why somebody like Neil Cavuto would point this out.